but not always are they that simple. Um, and here's an example of one that's not that simple involving the dichromate ion being um, having something done to it, the oxygen. Where is it going? Who knows? We'll look at that now. When you have something that's a more complex redox equation, we, we need to do is follow these four first, and you can try and do that one, and then we'll start the podcast again and you'll look at that. So what we need to do to balance this equation, we need to first of all balance everything other than hydrogen and oxygen. And we do that by that's everything other than hydrogen and oxygen and balanced. With light. On this side, we have seven oxygens. So that means we need, so that's our second thing done. So our oxygen is now balanced. Now we've got no hydrogen on this side at the moment, but we've got seven times two means 14 hydrogens. So to balance that, we need to put H plus on the other side. Charge with electrons on one of these sides. So work out where the electrons are going to go. Now we'll first of all look at this on our right hand charge. Over this side, we've got two negative and 14 positive, so we have as well. We haven't put states. Obviously, all this is aqueous apart from our water, which is liquid. Complex redox reactions. So balance everything other than hydrogen and oxygen. Balance water, so go to the side with the LUT. That's how you balance complex redox reactions. All right, you've had a go at it. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the steps and we'll see how close you got to the correct answer anyway. How to balance half equations? Well, first of all, balance everything other than the hydrogen and oxygen. So our manganese is here. We've got one on this side and another one on that side, already balanced. Don't need to do anything with them at all. We balance oxygen with water. Four oxygens on this side, none on that side. So our water is going to go on this side times two, which side is two positive. My charge on this side is seven positive because we have eight positive hydrogen and one negative here. So overall, it's seven positive. To get from seven down to two, I need five electrons on this side of my reaction. So there it is there. I chuck in my pluses and we have my balanced complex redox reaction where I have eight hydrogen ions plus five electrons plus my um, manganese oxide um, ion going to manganese. Electrons don't have a state, so they just stay as they are, but everything else, redox reactions. Have a look at the textbook. There's a few questions on that. I'm not too sure what questions they are. I probably should have found out beforehand, but do those questions and see how you go with balancing these complex redox reactions. And each time follow these four simple steps and then add in your states at the end. I should have added in states here. My apologies for not doing that. Any questions, give us a call um, or email me and I'll help you out with all that type of stuff. So, enjoy. See ya.